You too. What's the word? What's the word, man? Welcome back to the channel, man. Look, I got another reaction on the books today. We finna do this pop the balloon to find love. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you be notified, man. Let's get straight to it. Dating her. Go ahead and pop that balloon, and I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. Are we ready? Okay. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. Hello. Welcome in. What's your name? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Bro had to, bro had to look the other way. He like, die. Yeah, that's crazy. My name is Nucci. Hey, Nucci. How old are you? I'm 25. I'll be 26 soon. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what do you do? I am an artist as well as a behavioral health tech, and I'm also a stripper. <laughs> okay. Now, what kind of artist are you? I rap. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. All right. So anything we should be looking out for? Anything soon? Yes. Actually, I dropped a song yesterday. So go ahead and check that out, you guys. Okay. Showgirl Nucci on YouTube and Instagram. All right. Well, make sure to check that out. <laughs> now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to write music. Uh, I love movies. Like, I really like... I grew up watching movies. Like, my grandma would sneak us into the movies. <laughs> like, we would pay for one, go see another one. Okay. Pay for it. So, yeah. <laughs> love movies. Um, I love to hike. I like to work out as well. Um, anybody that knows me knows that when I was, like, heavily into my working out, like, regimen, mm -hmm. I was working out, like, five, six days a week. I got really small. Plumped up a little bit, but I like myself both sizes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um... Just security within yourself, confidence, um, a guy that has like goals um, and actually like doing something to achieve them. Yeah. Okay. Now what are some deal breakers? Ooh, deal breakers. Um, a guy like if you if you've met me, if you've been around me humbly, I do get attention. So like if you know that about me and you want to pursue me, mm -hmm. then that's definitely something like if you tend to get insecure about the attention that I get. That's something that would make me like kind of stray away from you. Mm, okay. All right. So we did get um, a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right. Let's start with your name and age. Hey, that motherfucker. Look, that motherfucker is there. I can't even. You can't even fake that. You can't even fake like you not looking, bro. Like you can't fake that. I'm sorry. Damn. Uh, I'm Trey. I'm 25. And Trey, what do you do? Uh, I'm a development project manager at a tech company. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession. Stripper. That's not my preference. Nothing wrong with you. No, honestly, preference. I thought it was going to be more people that would pop. So I understand. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Hi, all right. Now, is, uh, is he someone that's your type? Um, you're dressed very well. Great uh -huh. smile. Just... Um, if we're going off everyday life, I probably wouldn't entertain. Yeah. Nothing against you. You're very handsome. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Now, is there something there that's making you say you wouldn't entertain him? Um, I think I just, <laughs> I think okay. I just like a more like brolicky guy, like a little oh, bit okay. more like, like, mm, like, you know? Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that saying like, right, you're not that, but lame. just for me, I'm a big girl. So. I understand. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go down over here. Your name and age? Uh, yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. And Key, what do you do? Uh, I own a trucking business. Okay, very cool. Now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession. Same thing. Uh, very pretty girl. Thank just you. Profession. Yeah, that's Sorry, it. I'm sweating. It's hot. <laughs> man, niggas ain't on here to find no damn love, man. These niggas on, man. Niggas out here talking about professions and shit, like. We don't even know if we finna be together. We talking about the profession. My niggas ain't looking for no damn love on this shit. Okay. And now is Key someone that you type? Love your complexion. Like, that was definitely the first thing that caught my eye when I walked out here. Appreciate um, it. Love the waves as well. Um, I probably would entertain you if you approached me. So, yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Thank you. All right, so we still do have quite a few balloons left unpopped. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question, help you narrow it down. Ooh. Um, damn, I didn't really think about this. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, do any of you guys have children? 
You are, do? Are kids a deal breaker for you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm sorry. Let's, let's head on over here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is John. I'm 31. John, what do you do? Uh, I'm an area space tech and uh, I do content. So. Got it. So and she did pop on you for the kids. Um, why did you have your balloon unpop for her though prior to that? I mean, I'm not really shallow. You feel me? I like to get to know the person. So I was just trying to fill her up. Okay. Got it. Got it. Now, I know the kids is a deal breaker, but is he someone that's your type? Um, you're so cute. Like, let me just say that you're like really cute. But like, if I'm gonna be with somebody, I need somebody that's like fine to me. Like, you fine to to a lot of girls, I'm sure. Damn. But to me, like, very cute. Damn, she just killed his ass. She just killed his ass whole time. <laughs> Hey, everybody looking like, damn, she just humbled the shit out of him. I love your dreads. I like the way you're dressed. Yeah. That's cool. I was it. Okay. <laughs> All righty. So, everyone else has no kids. Any other questions? Um, <laughs> this is dumb, but, like, I do want to know your guys' signs. Okay. Pop. <laughs> Pop to a stupid ass. Look, get the fuck on, man. Ain't my trying to you come up here with all that damn ass hanging out and you talking about you wanna hear a damn sign. Man, get your ass on, man. Stop playing, man. She knows what she doing, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. But damn, it's damn. Look how she came on this motherfucker, man. She didn't come on this motherfucker looking for no love. She trying to get hit. Okay, I wasn't going to pop you based off your sign. I just want to know. <laughs> we'll start here with your name and age. Uh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. Dante, what do you do? Uh, I'm a famous adult uh, entertainer and also a uh, YouTuber as well. Okay, got so, yeah. it. So, to answer a question, what's your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Okay, a I like Sag. Sag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a country nigga right there. Yeah, true Sag. How you doing? We'll come back. Name and age. Name Justin. And 26. And what do you do? And I own an online business. So, yeah. Okay. And what's your sign? I'm Cancer. Okay. I like Cancer. You guys are very, like, emotionally okay. intelligent and, like, just, like, intuitive when it comes to emotions. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And you guys, like, really make people feel comfortable. Like, no sign I feel like mm-hmm. is better at doing that than a Cancer. So, yeah, that's how it is. For I sure. like that. Yeah. Name and age? Chris, 27. And Chris, what do you do? I got a couple jobs. Uh, I'm a realtor first. <laughs> I got a couple jobs type shit. You know what I'm saying? Real nigga shit, you know? And then I work at a community center with kids. Okay. And then I work Fuck at the kids. two nonprofits. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that. What's your sign? Scorpio. I have a love-hate <laughs> relationship with you guys. Like, I love you guys, but you guys are toxic. At least a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, at least you know. Joe <laughs> Flood. Man. Best assassin in your own. I'm gonna live. You took out a. Thank you. And we did get a pop. Let's head on back this way. Your name and age? My name's Ryan. I'm 26. And Ryan, what do you do? I own uh, two different media companies. Okay. So you did end up popping your balloon when she asked, What's your sign? What's up? What's going on? Um, yeah, it's just the sign thing. I just never got into that. And I don't even like speaking about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I understand. Like, a lot of guys are like that, so I don't fault you for that. <laughs> All good. <laughs> All right. So, prior to her asking about... Oh, that shit annoying, bro. That shit is really annoying. Like, that sign shit. That shit so damn annoying. Motherfucker get tired of hearing that shit. You're cancer because, like, you really make people feel special and, like, <laughs> you're the only one that knows how to do that. Like, man, shut your ass up, man. Shut up. Damn, y'all be irritated. You know what niggas be hearing when they be saying that? We just be like. You feel me? Niggas do not care. Signs. You did have your balloon unpopped. Why so? I kind of wanted to hear her out. The profession thing did kind of take me through a little loop, but I was I was still open. Um, Yeah. So, and, and she's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. So, oh, I, was I mean. Say peanut butter. I like that. So, This nigga said, did a bowl of oatmeal, crying. Motherfucker is right, though. So, <laughs> so I was like, I was like, no, we can, uh, 
I just want to hear what she had to say. Okay. Got it, got it. Now, is Ryan someone that's your type? No, because you're just a smidgen too light skin for me. I know I'm light skin as well, but oh shit, I like a. <laughs> he tell her, oh shit, hey, hey on me, man. She just be saying some stupid ass shit, bro. I'm a little bit brown to dark skin. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Just okay. said you like dark right. skins. Let's bro. go over here. Why you end up popping? Man, I, sh I'm, I think I'm light skin. I don't know. Like, you feel You're me? You're not as like, light as him. Light, light. <laughs> you should have gave yourself a chance. Hey, I mean, look, I didn't know. You should have been clear on me. <laughs> but it's all good. Well, I did say brown to light skin. To brown, me, like, you're. I mean, you are kind of like on the cusp yeah, right. of light. Yeah, yeah. But you are, to me, you have a little bit more melanin. Okay, you for know. sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So. But you want that balloon back or something? Right. Why are you biting your lip like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and get okay. that balloon yeah. back. Yeah. Get that balloon back. Yeah, that's talking about, yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll be back for you then. He ended up popping as well. What's going on? Same thing. You know, I'm light skin, as everybody can see. She said brown skin to dark skin. Maybe I should have specified like, like light bright. Right. Type shit. Okay, yeah. okay. Like, there's nothing wrong with light brights at all. Like yeah, all yeah, complexions yeah. are beautiful. It's just a preference. Yeah, no, I feel. Yeah. But you, yeah, no, you're you, damn near the same color. Yeah, you're the same. I just know I'm, I've been light skin my whole life. <laughs> yeah, I'm only dark as we in Arizona right now. Okay, all right. So, you want him to get? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's up to him. It's up to you. You want the balloon back or no? Shit. I think I'm just. I just want to see what else okay. out there. No, okay. no problem. Yeah. No problem. All right. So, is he someone that is your type? Um. I love the way you're dressed. You said it. Very handsome. I probably wouldn't in the real world entertain. She lying, bro. She lying, bro. She lying. They probably the best match, though. She lying. I know she lying. I know she is. I think so. Okay. So, prior to her saying the whole light skin thing, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? Oh, well, she cold. Okay. <clears throat> My voice gone. Uh -huh. Yeah, but she cold. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and we did get a pop is. down here. <laughs> All right. Your name and age? How you doing? My name is Nati. Okay. I'm 25. And Nati, what are you? What's your name? Nati. Nati. Na Nati? Yeah. It's okay. Ethiopian name. Okay. okay. And what do you do? I'm a project engineer for a general contractor, full time, and then do a little freelance estimating on the side. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So why'd you end up popping your balloon? Well, first I'm an I'm an Aries. That that um. But yeah, when people ask me about my sign, I feel like they're making a lot of assumptions about the sign. To be honest, I don't believe in that at all. Yeah. Um, but you're cool though, you know, you're pretty. And, Thank you. you. Know, I think we'd be good friends, but yeah. That's I think it. so too. And honestly, let me just elaborate on like the Zodiac question. Like I would never cancel somebody because of their Zodiac sign. Like that's dumb. But like I do, like I'm a Virgo. So like a lot of the... Ah, we don't care about, about this Virgos shit. It's very true for me personally. So like, I just like, it gives me kind of like a little insight of what your personality could look like. But obviously I would give you the chance to like, you know, indulge me in who you really are. That's cool. Okay, thank you. Let's head on back. Okay, so we do have two guys left. I'm gonna go ahead and see if you guys have any questions for her. You do? Okay, let's start here. Uh, what is submission to you? Submission. What is being a submissive woman? Submissive is like allowing my man to lead. So like, um, let's say like, let's say we want to buy a house or something, yeah. and I want to live in one area, but you tell me that you want to live in this area for this, that, and this reason. I'm gonna listen to you, and if I feel like okay, my man has proved to me that he can lead. I think he knows what he's talking about. If we move here, it might not be the best idea, so I'm gonna go with what my man says. What do you mean prove to you? Um. Just like letting me know that you have like, you know what you're doing basically. Just like financially, spiritually, mentally, what your goals. If you say that you have goals and you haven't achieved any of them, then why would I let you lead anything that has to do with me? So just proving it that way. Okay. okay. Any questions here? <laughs> what city do you stay? I mean, where do you stay? Like, I stay in Phoenix. You stay in Phoenix? Yes, sir. I stay in Cali, so I don't know. Ooh. Long distance. Long distance. I don't know about that one. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So long distance is no for you. No, I, okay. I can't do that. Okay, so you did have him get his balloon back. Is he someone that you're tight? 
He's handsome, yeah. I would I would entertain him. Oh, entertain? Hold on. I would <laughs> Hold on. I would uh, did I say something bad? You said entertain. Yeah. You entertain mean? the idea of getting to know you. Okay. Just like you would do that for me, right? I feel you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> Let's go back this way. Why did we end up popping? To just I had to think about what she was saying about the submission. So before I got famous, before I had anything, I had my ex of uh, three years, I was trying to marry and stuff like that, but she didn't believe in the hustle. She didn't believe what I was doing and stuff like that. I didn't have the results, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? With that. And she didn't believe in what was happening. And I told her what exactly was going to happen mm -hmm. to where I am today and stuff like that. It's like, okay, I can't entrust that. Oh, I might not have it in five years. I might have it in two years. It might happen in six years. You feel me? But like you thinking that, oh, you don't have the results yet. You know, a lot of people don't have results yet. You feel me type shit? It don't come overnight. It don't come over in a year. It don't come over in three. Mm -hmm. You got to stick and ride. If you ain't, and if you're not going to do that, I, <laughs> hey, this nigga said hawk tour. <laughs> hey, on we. Right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> no, I felt that. All right, well, Nucci, that is all the balloons popped. But we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Thank you, guys. Get your thick ass up out of here, man. Hey, that's crazy as hell. How your thick ass? Look, man, that's just go to show. That just go to show. It don't matter if you thick. None of that, man. You getting your ass up out of there. You get talking that stupid shit, get your ass up out of there. Won't give a fuck how good you look, shorty, or how fat that motherfucker look. Get your ass up out of there. Jordan's sore nose let out a fiery sneeze, so Dad grabbed Puffs Plus lotion to soothe her. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. Hi. What's your name? Tosh. Tosh, how old are you? I'm 25. And what do you do? I'm a registered nurse. Okay, very nice. Uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? Um, I love to travel. I really love Pilates. I love trying like yoga classes, working out, spending time with friends and family. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, first, you have to have a relationship with God. You have to be family oriented. You have to have great communication skills. Um, you have to be romantic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, don't have a relationship with God. Um, the kids, it depends. Okay. It depends. It depends. Yeah. Um, you're not romantic. You can't communicate. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, we did get a pop balloon. Okay. It's gone down over there. See what's going on. <laughs> All right, your name and age. How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Nati, why did you end up popping your balloon? First off, you're very pretty. And uh, all my family's in healthcare too, so I like the cheer registered nurse. That's very cool. Um, right now in my life, I'm not really a, I wouldn't identify as a Christian or anything religious. Per <clears throat> but um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. But I mean, you're cool though. I like you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> now, is Nati someone that's your type? I would, I would say he's very handsome. So yeah. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. All right. Uh, we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to hand you a pick and I'm going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you're seeing so far, who may not really be your type, outfit, whatever it is. I'm going to go ahead and hand that over to you. Okay. And go ahead and pop those two. Um, uh, Okay, and one more. Um. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, big okay. bro? Dirty. Okay, let's start over here since we're here. Name and age? Uh, Dante, uh, 25. And Dante, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, you melanated. Bro, chocolate <laughs> man. Hey, haven't seen one like that in Arizona in a long time, so okay. hey, it looks smooth. You feel me? <laughs> Got it. So why did you end up popping his balloon? Um, you just seem very flashy, like the teeth, Word. the piercing. Yeah, it's very flashy. I don't like flashy men. Oh, this was actually subtle today, too. Oh, oh really? yeah, this was subtle. Ooh. So that means you are flashy, then. Oh, well, I got everything I got. You know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? If you see my garage. That nigga is not flashy, bro. This nigga got a cowboy hat on. Some khaki pants. Some cowboy boots. That nigga is not flashy, bro. Just keep it a book, gang. Just say the nigga ain't your type. You, you probably gonna call me flashy, so, like, cool. Like, it is what it is. Okay, all right. 
And then we did pop one more. Let's head down over here. Okay, your name and age? John, I'm 31. And John, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I mean, she fine. You feel me? I love a chocolate woman, so... I see you blushing, but yeah, that's why I had my uh, um, um. <laughs> hey, OG, hey, you know, I see you blushing and everything, you know what I'm saying, but you still pop the young nigga, though, you know what I'm saying, it's cool, John, man, they ain't fucking with John, but John probably one of the coolest motherfuckers in the line, bro. When I pop. Okay, got it. And now, why did you end up popping heads? Um, I don't really like dreads. That's why, that's why. I like a cut, nice cut. But yeah, that's the only reason. I thought she was gonna be with the uh, Sorry. J- Jamaican type. Look, you feel me? You just got the safari going. You feel me? But I mean, I Thank feel you. you. I feel you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, all right. Name and age. Chris, twenty-seven. Okay, Chris, why did you end up popping your balloon? Cause you don't like dreads, and I used to have dreads, and when it's summer, I'm gonna put put them back in. So she gonna hate me. <laughs> I mean, I like them pull back. Yours look nice. Well, I appreciate okay. it. See what I'm saying? They just go to show, bro. Like, what what females say they don't like? Females don't know what they like. Uh, I'm going to just tell you straight like that. She don't like dreads on him. <laughs> she don't like dreads on him. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what it is. Yeah. But you very pretty, though. Thank for you. For Thank you. And now, is he someone that's your type? Uh. I don't know. I have to learn more. Oh. More about him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm well, serious. Right, right. Yeah. We'll let her slide with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we do have four balloons left on Popped. Go ahead and ask these guys a question to help you narrow it down. Okay. So what do you guys like to do for fun? Okay. Let's start here with your name and age. My name is Ryan. I'm 26. Ryan, what do you like to do for fun? I like to stay active so i like going on hikes i like going to museums i think i'm very much a morning person so less about nightlife activities and more about anything we can do early in the day um yeah that makes sense okay good yep okay name and age my name is justin and uh my age is 26. okay and now uh justin what do you like to do for fun i like to go skating you know like roller skating everything you know i'm real active Mm -hmm. and you know i love to play basketball too you know so that's what I love to, love to do, you know? Okay. And I love to eat different food places and everything, too. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go on over here. Your name and age? Uh, I'm Trey, 25 years old. Trey, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, I, I love friends and family. I'm a very big family-oriented person, whether it's chosen family or biological family. I spend a lot of time with my pastors, my friends. I have some friends that live in other states, so I'll get on the game with them from time to time. But... That's really it. I'm a really relaxed person, but I love adventure. Like, I, I'm in a part of my life where I'm doing stuff that I enjoy. Like, I just went skydiving. I'm doing this. I'm putting myself out there trying to do stuff that I enjoy, learn more about myself. Okay. Name and age? Uh, Key, 28. Okay. Key, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, so, for fun, I like to, yeah, I'm a laid back guy, real chill, simple. Uh, just hang out with friends, catch a sports game here and there. Uh, you know, take a walk in the park, something, you know, catch a movie. I'm, I'm low maintenance. I don't really do too much, so. Okay. Yeah, that's really it. All right. <laughs> okay. So based off of all this information you heard, I'm gonna have you pop one balloon. Um, can I ask one more question? Next round. <laughs> uh, um. Okay. I'll pop it. All right. right. Why do we end up popping his? Um, I just like the rest of their answers better. I mean, nothing you said is wrong. Like, I like to work out, too, and do the same things, but I just like their answers better. Cool. Yeah. So, Ryan, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? I mean, she seems really mature, and uh, I know you said you're a nurse, right? Yes. That's a hard thing to get into and takes a lot of discipline, and, like, so I'm just a great person. Yeah. Like, all around, Thank like, 360. You. Thank you. All right. And we do have two guys left. Oh, three. He was hiding his balloon. <laughs> we do have three guys left. Go ahead and ask them another question. Um, where do you guys see yourself in five years? Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? Investments, real estate, you know, getting into that, you know. And uh, honestly, I want to do some traveling, too. I want to do a little traveling and everything. So, yeah, that's the main thing right there in progressing in business, you know. So, that's okay. what I like. Okay, let's go on over here. All right, and what was your question again? Um, where do you see yourself in five years? 
Uh, in five years, I see myself building. I think five years, it's it's good to have an idea of what you want to do. I'd like to be like have a higher paying job, have a have a home instead of just an apartment. I'd like to be building with my family. But I think the the best thing about looking forward is like having just like a purpose and a, and a knack to go forward. Mm -hmm. Like if you asked me five years ago where I saw myself in five years, I wouldn't say here. I'm so much farther than I was in a different area, like in a different direction. And so I just see myself moving forward. Okay. Okay, where do you see yourself in five years? Yeah, uh, the best five answer. years, hopefully, uh, you know, I plan to keep growing my business, uh, be a homeowner, marry, at least have, you know, maybe one kid by then. Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop. It's nothing nothing against you. I mean, you're a beautiful girl. It's just uh, you seem very, like, you know, soft-spoken, real chill, laid back. I am, too. So I need someone to kind of, like, on the opposite spectrum of that, you know. Okay. That's really it. Yeah. Okay. I am. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay. that, that's, that's it. But, yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. But she Got was someone toxic. Like, she, she, yeah, she she's very pretty. Uh, you know, I probably I definitely approach her if I seen her out. Okay. Okay. Now is he someone that's your type? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Okay. okay. So we've got our two guys left. Guys, any questions for our girl? You got one. What's your love language? Um, I would say. My love language is words of affirmation. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, acts of service. Let me change that. Acts of service. That's acts my service. love language. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's switch it to him. What's yours? Yeah. See, I'm a real affectionate man. You feel me? So I'm big on like, I don't know where that goes into. Like affection, uh, what? Like uh, physical, yeah, yeah, physical touch. Because, you know, it's actually reason. Because like, I got two loving parents at home. You feel me? Mom and dad, that's what that's just what I'm used to seeing. You know, they got a good relationship with each other, so you know, that's where I picked up on it, you know. Okay. So that's what I like. Okay. Yeah. Any questions down here? Am I answering her question or No no, you have a question for her. Oh, what's your what's your purpose in life? Do you know what you're here to do? Not just be an RM, but what are you here to do? Um I definitely believe I'm here to help people in some way. That's why I became a nurse. But I also have an upcoming business. Um, I have children's toys, so dolls. Um, growing up, I never really seen many dolls that look like me. So I've started a business in which I'm creating dolls that look like me. So yeah. Wow. Yep. All right. That was good for me. OK. <laughs> All right, it is time to pop. Out of these two guys left, Who's balloon army popping? Yes. Um, <laughs> All right, where do we end up popping his? Um, he won me over with that, how he was raised in a household with two parents, and yes. he just grew up seeing like love, and that's really important to me too. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's why. But you're very handsome, Thank you. and I'm sure any woman will be lucky to have you, but yep, that's the reason. Okay, so why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Uh, she hit the necessities, and she qualifies for the preferences. You're Gorgeous, which is a necessity for me. You love God, which is number two on that list. You're open and honest and transparent, and that's phenomenal. And you have family values, so that's fantastic. So, yeah. look, I was ready. Some of these motherfuckers be fucking up their matches. I ain't even gonna hold you. I could, I could see that he was the best match for her. I ain't even gonna hold you. He was the best match for her, cuz. She fucked that up. She fucked that up. Hey, this go to show you that women cannot pick. <laughs> they cannot pick. Don't leave it up to them, bro. They can't pick shit. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let me bring you on up. Bring you on up. Come on up. <laughs> All right, guys. Any final questions? Nope. I don't have any more questions. You ain't got no questions? Nope. Let me see. I ain't got no questions over here. Okay. Go over here. Go over here. All right. So is it a yes for you for her? So yes. And is it a yes for you for yeah. him? We got a man. Let me take this mic. You guys can go on up. <laughs> Woo! Make some noise for them, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome. Hi. 
welcome Hi. in. What's your name? I'm Simone. Simone, how old are you? I'm 24. And what do you do? I am a full-time content creator, lifestyle and beauty content, and then I'm currently in my master's program at Pepperdine uh, for clinical psychology. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> what are some things like to do for fun? Um, so I am a poetess, I'm a writer, podcast host. Um, I just love everything creative, arts, everything like that. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, what are some things like for a man? Um, I like a man with a higher education level, wisdom, um, communication, understands uh, emotional regulation. Mm -hmm. um, those are, that's, that's it right there. That's vital. Okay, yeah. got it. Jamaica. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> and now, what are some deal breakers? Um, I would say lack of, like, just not, like, being able to, like, fully, like, feel and communicate. Mm. I think that's a disruption. A uh, man that doesn't that uh, gets like weary about being out with me and understanding that I get attention and that I get looks and I don't want no man like being angry at me about that mm. uh, cause like he's gonna be my man like I'm a, we look good together type of shit you know okay. um, and then like somebody who's just like stupid sorry I just can't do that I'm sorry. Okay. No, I just can't. I'm sorry. That's your preference. No, your preference. That's <laughs> but that's fine. It's okay. We'll do that. Yeah. All right. So we don't have any pop balloons. So oh, okay. What's going to happen is I'm actually switching on over to you. Oh. I'm okay. going to give you a pick, and I'm going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you're seeing so far, whoever may not really be your type, whatever it is. So okay. let me give you that, and go ahead and pop those two. Okay. Hey, why they doing big bro like this, bro? <laughs> hey, this nigga ain't getting no love, man. Okay, one more. Okay, let's start right on over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Ryan. I'm 26. Okay. And Ryan, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I just wanted to hear her talk more and hear her out. Okay. Yeah, it was like too soon to decide. Got it. Okay, but she's someone that's physically your type? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. And now, why did we end up popping his? Well, you know, unfortunately, I wish that I could hear you speak because I feel like you have a great vocabulary and great grammar and mm. can carry yourself well. <laughs> um, but from the looks of it, in reality, I just don't do light skins. Oh, okay. okay. Tough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he can't change that. It's like, I'm not mad at him. I'm like, you can't do nothing mad at that, but all it's all good. right. But that's, yeah, that's it. Cool, thank you. And then he did pop one more down here. Yeah. Your name and age? My name is John. I'm 31. And John, why did you have your balloon unpop? I mean, she nice, you feel me? Uh, she read my type, you feel me? Uh, I like light-skinned women, so I'm just trying to see how she what. Got it, got it. And why did we end up popping his? You didn't make eye contact with me once while I was speaking. That's, I respect and I And I like, I love a shy, timid man who's going to let me speak for him because I'm a, I, I'll speak for you if you want me to, but for you not to make Being eye contact is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll shake it. Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right, let's head back, and let's go ahead and ask these. Man, she real bougie. You could tell. You could tell her huh? bougie as hell. This guy's a question. Okay. Um, what do you do for work? Okay. Name, age. What do you do for work? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. Uh, I also am a famous YouTuber and adult entertainer, and also do bodybuilding. Yeah. Adult entertainer, you said? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, let's go on over here. <laughs> Your name and age, and what do you do? My name is Chris. I'm 27, and I got a couple jobs. I'm a realtor first, then I work at a community center, and then I work at two nonprofits. Okay, what's the nonprofits about? It's about helping black people. And then I got another one where I help black girls with my mom. Okay, yeah. understandable. We appreciate your service. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your name and age, and what do you do for work? Uh, I'm Trey, 25. I'm a development project manager at a tech company. Okay, Trey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Name, age, and what do you do? Man, I hey, I'm not to you. Hey, I can tell I on my soul. It's like I can read this shit like 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 a book, bro. I can tell like she turned niggas off, bro. I promise you, she turned niggas off. Like just the way she acts. So so many women with like feel like they got so the highest vocabulary. She she smart and all that shit. But your attitude is shit. Like, it's just dog shit. It's dog shit. Yeah, I'm 25, and I'm a project engineer for a general contractor. It's my full-time gig. Um, but I also do a little freelance estimating on the side. And what's your freelance? Uh, estimating. So oh, like estimating. Oh, okay. Specialty contractors. And oh, so you go with numbers and shit? You know your math? Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> I don't know. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Like, it's just... 
the fuck? Like, bro. Don't nobody want her in the line. I guarantee you she don't get no match, bro. Shit like that. Name, agent, what do you do? Uh, I'm Key, 28, uh, and I own a trucking business. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. Right. He said that's it. <laughs> that's good, though. You're a business owner. What are you talking we about? We got to pop right here. Why do we end up popping? Out of vernacular, I'm not too big on cussing. Oh, in these spaces, oh yeah, so. that's <laughs> Hey, what I tell you, cuz she just got on niggas for like not they vocabulary, but she, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what I'm talking about. He ain't feeling that shit. <laughs> he ain't feeling that shit. He on her ass. Not gonna, yeah, we ain't gonna work with that. Yeah, I understand. That's okay. That's good. It works out. Oh, my man, I'm sorry. Yeah, I Stuff it's, works it's out. Okay. It's okay. So, is he someone that's your type? No. Okay, why not? Um, okay. okay. No, it's just like, no, I love the outfit. I love the outfit. It's cute. Um, honestly, for me, it's just like the physical appearance. That was it. Yeah. Oh, good. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Her attitude, bro. I can tell, bro. Like, come on, man. Ain't nobody. This bitch ain't getting no match, cuz. Okay, so, based off of those responses you've heard, hmm, we did get a pop, so I'm going to have you.